some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Columbus, Ohio, where we encounter Colt News as he is detained by an officer who doesn't show much respect for him because, you know, he knows what he's all about and uh, he doesn't take too kindly to frauditors. So let's thank uh, Body Cam Uncensored 314 for this marvelous video right here. And in addition, I've got a bonus uh, video for you uh, where we encounter a uh, frauditor who gets himself arrested at his home. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Over their shoulders. So, what what kind of information was it they had? I mean, they're the next They were about to do the He's carrying it away, though, taking pictures. Like, was he on the sidewalk doing it? Yeah. Yeah. He's, not, he's trying to get you there. We took pictures of him doing it. They called their security team. They got the, they locked the doors and everything. Is him right there? Yeah, he's, yeah, see how he's taking pictures of their computers? He's banging on my door for window calling me a moron. Uh, you know, it's really interesting to see the other side of what a frauditor does every day. Because in this particular occasion, uh, Cult News decided to fraud at this bank. I mean, just standing outside and uh, record everything in sight. I'm sure he knows that's going to attract attention because there's a lot of criminals that do use video cameras to case places like this to see where all the weak points are at. That way they can rob the joint. And of course, uh, these bank employees know that this kind of thing can and will happen, and it happens on a regular basis across this country. But does uh, Cult News care? No. It is account numbers on his phone, so I don't know if you can get his phone, but there's account numbers on if his If this phone. is a guy I think of, he's got some little local news, whatever company he likes to file against anybody. Like, if he's on the sidewalk, there ain't gonna be much I can do. He'll be trying to file all kinds of crap. Yeah. Yeah, this is the guy that has a little news thing. Hey, there you go, there you go. You dipshits close the bank for a camera. Oh, wow. In antagonistic right off the bat. I mean, I'm sure you've got a lot of friends that really appreciate that attitude of yours. Am I right? You've got to have a bunch of friends. I mean, how many people would uh, like to be around a person that has this winning personality right here? Knock yourself down. I'll come out every day and shut Fifth Third Bank down so, just by photographing on the sidewalk. So basically... Yeah, it's okay. Basically, he has a right listen, to photograph okay, on listen, the sidewalk. Listen, like, don't, don't, don't talk to him. Do, what, do, do him. whatever I, it is you want to do. Are you going to arrest let's, me? Let's go, he's threatened me all day. Listen, listen. I, I did not listen. threaten you. You can't hear you can't, Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. This guy's nuts. Yes, that is a threat, Ian. That's a threat, too, That is a threat. Hey, listen. I'm going to tell you this. If you start if you start sparking a taser, that's I'm going to take that as menacing, and I will arrest you for menacing. Put your taser up. He's done it five times. You I said I will defend myself listen, when listen, you came out here aggressively Let me tell you something. Me. If you start sparking a taser at them, that will be menacing, and I will arrest you for that. Uh, they were very aggressive. I want to be very, very clear aggressive. with you. Got it. I understand. Right. I understand. I you got your little news. I want to make sure listen, they know I'm Just stop talking. I've dealt with you before. I know what you're up to. You try to invoke people to get mad, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, exercise my First Amendment rights. That's okay. it. And that's it. That, he, he's stupid. Yeah, I agree with you, officer, on this one, because he pulled out his taser and, well, discharged it from everybody, thinking that's going to help the situation. Well, he could get charged with brandishing at that point, or uh, actually more like menacing, because he's threatening to cause harm to those people who are just trying to uh, run their business. I mean, at this point, yeah, definitely stupid. So... No, he took that taser out. That's the third time he took that yeah, taser out. He's already threatened us a couple times. So, 
With him being on the sidewalk, there's literally nothing I can do. He's an idiot. He's a complete nut. Can I press charges for him threatening me? I mean, specifically, like, what did he threaten you? He like, took that taser out. He took that taser out already. And was and, and was pushing the button yeah. at me. So, I mean, like, whenever he... Okay, so, like, what was, like, going down? Like, so I came... Was you guys arguing and he pulled it out? No, oh, that man was, was standing in front of her window. I'm the one that saw him. He was standing in front of her window with that phone prompt in front of her. I didn't even know he was in He could have people's information on stuff. that phone with their account numbers and stuff. So, like... That's an event. That's federal. Like, my well, him, like, like, if he's standing on a public place where he can legally be, and he's taking pictures, like, there's... I mean, he's, so I'm supposed to, I mean, I know I have to sit here and work, right, yeah, I mean, he's it's sitting like, here recording me on my computer. I understand, but he's in a public place, and you're and so in front of the window. so if I go out to ask him to stop, and he takes his taser out, that's a problem. So if he if he makes threats with it, and let me see where he's at. He did. He, did. he threatened us all. Hey, come here for a second. I want to talk to you. So listen, there's the bottom line. They felt they felt threatened because you pulled the taser out and sparked it. So they want to report. So I need your ID. I, so what law have I broken? Then? I said they felt threatened because you pulled your, you pulled your taser out and sparked it in front of me. That can be viewed as menacing. Okay? They felt threatened. So like, I'm not going to argue with you. I just want. I don't want to know what the law is. So you're saying it's menacing. So so you're saying I broke I'm telling the law. You, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. So you're going to take it from Give me your ID. I'm asking you if I broke committed. I am ordering you to give me your ID because I'm going to take a report because they felt threatened because you sparked a taser at them. Now give me your ID right now. Okay, so the, I just, Let, I, I'm not. I, I don't so care I, about I, your. I don't care about your camera. Put your stuff down I, and give me your ID. I am asking. I'm losing my patience. Okay, you lose your. Listen, I'm, I'm going to put you in cuffs. I'm going to arrest you for felon ID. Okay, I asked what law I'm breaking. You're going to arrest me because I'm asking. I'm for taking a report because you were menacing so, them so, with the taser. I'm going so, to take a report. So Stop, what? Put your put that down. Okay, so what? And give me your ID. So what law? Did I, I don't have my ID on me. I don't carry an ID on me. Well, you can tell this guy is definitely a professional criminal, considering that, oh, I don't carry an ID on me. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, normal people in the normal society carry their uh, ID around them at all times, just in case something happens. Hell, when I was growing up and I started to get my driver's license, my dad drilled it into my head that I'm supposed to keep that on me at all times while driving my car. And it's not just an issue with dealing with the police officers, numbskull. What happens if you get into a accident where you are completely incapacitated and unable to identify yourself verbally? What happens then when you don't have an ID on you that can aid the officers in finding your next of kin should something, well, unexpected happen due to that accident. I mean, do you even think these kinds of things through, you brain-dead bozo? What law did I break? What's your What's your information? What law did I break? Give me your name. I would like to know. You're not going to tell me what law I'm broke. telling you. I just said menacing. How many times do I got to tell you so menacing? That's, so what, that's, a, a, that's an offense, okay? What is he? I saw you spark the taser at him. You pulled a taser out and sparked it. That's menacing. With a police officer standing there. So you did it before I got there, too. So Dude, the, okay, I'm, the, I'm done talking to you. I'm not asking any questions. Me, provide me your information now. Provide me your information right now. I'm going to arrest you for failing ID. So what do you want exactly? I'm going to take a report, yeah. and you're going to give me your uh, your information for yeah. it. Okay, I'll give you... And if you don't, I'm going to arrest okay, you for failing ID. So, I'm, so, I'm losing my patience, now. I understand. I'm just asking you a clarification. Okay, last time I'm Dude, I'm asking you for a clarification. You want to go I'm asking you... Tell me your information. You're going to tell it to me? I'm done talking. Mike Norton. Is that good enough for you? No, I want your social, I want your date of birth, I want I'm your address. I, want your... I have no okay. obligation to my social. Right. Date of birth, right. address, and name. You do not nope. need to get my social. social. You good. You want, you want me to arrest you? For not giving you my social security yeah, I want all your identifying information. Name, report. address, and all date right. of birth. I'm done. Last chance. Is that, are you going to or no? So if I don't give you my social I, security I'm going to number, arrest you if you don't give and, me all your information. And my social security number. I'm done talking.
I don't yes have my no. social security number memorized. I have it yeah, you for years. I'm not playing. You have not used your social security number in years. What about your damn taxes? What about uh, car insurance? What about other necessities that you've got to have that require uh, your social security information, such as a job or anything else like that? I mean, you're telling me that you haven't used or even memorized your social security number. Dude, I memorized my social security number at the age of 16. And this was done at the request of one of my teachers where she had the entire class memorize their social security number and tested us on whether or not we actually did the next day. And then a few weeks later, my dad came up to me asking me to memorize my social security number. And when I told him I did, he uh, wanted to hear me recite it. And I did. And I told him the whole thing with the teacher, uh, which he was pleasantly surprised about. So what is your bloody excuse for not memorizing your social security number when it is pretty much a part of your life. In the stupid game, I right? have my name, my address, okay, my date I will, of birth. I will detain you and escort you back to my car, I so I probably, I don't care. Let's go. Let's go back to your car. You, you want to handcuff me and do that? How are we going to do this? Get your crap and let's what, go. What is the crime, crime you say? Menacing, which is the ORC is for what? Well, I, can, I can arrest you for what menacing. What is the I can ORC? Slay, it's a slatable offense. What's the ORC? Okay, let's, I'm done talking to you about this. Let's well, go. Then let's go. Start walking. All right. All right, he's going to arrest me. Let's go. Get this on camera. Journalists doing my job. They came out correcting me. Dude, I've, everywhere you go, I've dealt with you twice now. Yeah, this, yeah. this is your and MO. I'm not breaking the law. Any, either guy. You just try to create these stupid interactions for your little YouTube, whatever well, it you is. You know what? I don't think people act like fools. I am a camera, and whether they act like fools or not is their choice. <laughs> Menacing. What is the ORC for that? I mean, I just don't know why you can't tell me what the law is that I'm breaking. Menacing? So if I tell somebody, I will defend myself and show them I might have a functioning taser. That is menacing. Got it. Got it. I'm with their info. Stay right here. I'm menacing by letting them know that I will defend myself. Okay. We're gonna go, let's go down there. Let's just go to my car. Come down here. I was gonna talk to them, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all your stuff first. And then I'll go back and talk to them. And then if they wanna go take this report to the prosecutor's office and see I'm if they want to press charges. No, I'm defending my I'll defend myself. Got it. I was five feet away from letting them know I have a functioning taser. Minister. Set your camera down, set your, set your bag down. Sure. Stay out of your bag. Well, I'm gonna put this in my bag. There's, there's nothing in my bag that says no well, weapons. Oh, you got a taser in there. Oh, no, 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 taser. There's nothing put the, else. Put your camera in there. And then set the bag down. Alright. Now I'm gonna pat you down. Yep. Put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together. Put your palms together. Come over here. And then Harding Hospital beginning miles seven four five. It's gonna sit right there. Copy four forty six. You don't have a seat. Yep. 
bunch of time. No, no give me your info. Mike Norton. Is that short for Michael, or is it yeah, Mike? Yes, it is short for Michael. Okay, well, I asked for your name. Not short names, not nicknames. Norton. How do you spell it? N-O-R-T-O-N. Hey, Stacy, be a pal and record this, please. What's your date of birth? What's your social? I do not have my social memorized. I've worked for myself for decades. So by working for yourself for decades, uh, does that mean that uh, you've worked under the table for this amount of time, that uh, that you haven't filed for any income taxes or anything like that in decades either? So which basically means you're a freaking tax cheat? I mean, how else would you explain your little uh, issue of not having used your social security number in years. Are you trying to be a tax dodger? Oh boy, I would love to see the IRS get a hold of you. I mean, that would be funny as hell. I have a social security card at home. I don't remember the last time What's I your used address? my social. Zip code. That is actually uh So you live here in Columbus or what? I'm pretty sure that is it. I'm sorry, I was on I literally just gave you my address. Okay, like why are you always here in Columbus if you live there? I love Columbus. I travel a lot and then I like Where do you stay at when you're in Columbus? Where do I stay when I'm in Columbus? Why do you keep answering my questions with a question? I'm trying to you're trying, clarify. Because you're, you're trying to make things up. You're trying to lie. No, you, ask for, you ask for my address. I give you my address, and that's not good enough for you. So okay, like you you're know... constantly around Columbus. So I find it hard to believe you live in Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Well, What's your I, phone number? I stay What's in your phone hotels. Number? Oh, give me your phone number. You arrest journalists often. Oh, come on now, dude. You call yourself a journalist? You're nothing. You're not a... You are not a journalist. You have no professional standards. You lack professional ethics. You lack the uh, decorum of a professional uh, journalist. Yeah, so therefore, you are definitely no journalist. So quit calling yourself that. It's a disgrace to the profession every time you or any other frauditor say that you're a journalist. And that's where I'm going to end it right there, because there's not much more to see. So I've got some bonus uh, footage for you of a classic arrest of a frauditor that goes by the name of Big G Audits. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Guys, they got a warrant. For that video pretty much I made the other night and everybody knows it and everybody's going to know it. This was pure retaliation. No question. I can't believe this. Got a warrant for three misdemeanors. All ticketable offenses. Just to make a show to me. That they're not going to put up with what I'm doing. Plain and simple crazy thing is is if i was speeding well then so was he oh what stupendous logic yeah you're right he was speeding so he could catch up to the speeder because you know you're not exactly the one thing doing anything dangerous no victim no crime am i right i mean i've heard this thing a thousand times no victim no crime no victim no crime uh, yeah, that is until you actually hurt somebody. Yeah, I'll take a word, look at this.
sheriff's office. You should probably answer that door, dude, because they do have a warrant for your arrest, and the cost of door replacement these days is through the roof. Here it is. Sheriff's office. Howdy. Is there Mr. Gibbons here? Uh... Yeah. Where's he at? Hey. Which bed is it? We got a warrant for his arrest. Okay. Oh, get it. So it's basically confirmed he's a 50 year old man who's living with his elderly mother and unemployed. Gee, that fits the stereotype of these frauditors to a T. And here comes the real walk of shame. A frauditor in handcuffs being escorted by the cops. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I always enjoy these idiots being hauled away in handcuffs and take the walk of shame. And, of course, I forgot, almost forgot to mention that this is the same idiot that had his children do some e-begging for him later that day. I mean, isn't that just father of the year material right there? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave.
doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the okay. property. I need to name date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.